Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma Dark Risen for the PC. We are in Duskmoon Tower. What's I have this? not gone back to the place we actually left off at because as I was making my way back, I remembered we have the Moonbeam Gem. So before we go too far, I want to actually explore what these doors have to offer. Ooh, looks like I may have... Oh, did I just actually lose that though? I don't know. Trophy jacket? I really hope that I don't have to have one for each door because there's quite a few. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Oh no! It really is just a single one per door. Well, huh, now I know. Now I know. And uh, I don't know where to find the rest, but hopefully we'll find them as we go along. But we're going to push forward. I'm probably going to skip the next several bits here because I do want to get back to where we left off. Apparently I missed a huge shortcut, so that's actually what I'm looking for right now. Alright, here we are finally at long last, the area with Barak. And we had proceeded just down there, but I ran right past this door. And you know what, when I was editing the video, I remember seeing it thinking, huh, I wonder where that goes. And look, we have a broken riftstone. It's 5,000. Okay, so it doesn't look like they are incrementally more expensive. Maybe there's just set prices per riftstone. But that is good, so that actually creates a nice hard save for us if we want it. Plus, if we lose any pawns, we can backtrack here. Looks like we have another Arisen Memory. Something strong can be sensed. It appears the memories of someone have been etched upon the surface of the Monument of Remembrance. All right, and then what is up here? Bitter Black Isle. Okay. Sounds like... Oh, I have unlimited stamina. Are we... <gasps> Oh, look where we are. Hey. Super convenient. Oh, this is fantastic. What a huge shortcut that is. Thank you guys so much for letting me know. I also, oh god, you guys have been yelling at me about all the macabre sculptures that I've been missing. Um, and someone have maybe made the mention, or not maybe, but they made the mention that maybe I'm rushing through a little bit because Dark Souls 3 is coming out in, well, a little over 24 hours now. And I have to admit, that... That actually is kind of coming into play here, and the reason is I'm trying to be fair to all of you who have been watching this series for so long. I mean, it's been going on for months. We're almost at episode 60, and I'm afraid that if I don't finish this before Dark Souls 3 comes out, it will get abandoned, and I just think that's unfair. Look at the skeleton up on the roof. I think that's unfair to all of you. I do want to show this off, but because I don't know Bitter Black Isle, if I want to show off every detail and every quest and every item, it would take a long, long time because I have to learn this entire area. I'm going to try... Oh, I didn't even notice that there's a lever here. Do I not need to pull it? I guess I don't need to pull it. Hmm. I don't know. I guess, oh, I guess that would have opened this. But someone had already pulled it? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't want to abandon the project, and I also don't want you guys to think that I am just playing this to get through the game. I'm not. I really am enjoying it, but chances are I'm going to be missing quite a bit. Um, another kind of word of warning, for those of you who know this game, once you get to the final boss of this area and you kill him, you can actually run through Bitter Black Isle a second time. It's more difficult. There's better loot. There are new enemies like Cursed Dragons. We're not going to be doing that. Once I kill the final boss, that is going to be considered the end of this series. And if you want to see what else there is, there are other playthroughs out there that may cover it. And I may stream it at a later time, but I just want to make sure that this game gets the attention that it deserves without actually forfeiting it due to another game. So that is the plan. I understand if you guys aren't very happy with that decision, but it is the one that I'm going to stick to just to try to make it fair for as many people as I can. Through this door lies a path the to the surface. Okay, now with that being said, let's get through the corridor of emptiness. We gotta head back down to where the towers were, because that is where we left off just after we had killed the Elder Ogre. Yes, the Fortress of Remembrance. This is actually where we fought Death. I would like to kill Death. I I have to find out how to actually get Death to be wary. There are beasts that Respond. dwell within Tread carefully. Wait, through what chest? I didn't Mark even see a chest. Well. Guys, where did I just miss a chest? Are you... Are you just teasing me? I know that there are beasts. There are man-eaters that live in there, but I didn't even see a chest. So if, if I'm missing one, you guys have to point it out a little bit. Oh, no, that's just a box. 
Hmm. So yeah, I do want to fight Death, but I need to find out how exactly I can get him to respawn. Yeah, these chests haven't even come back, guys. We don't have to worry about them yet. Not yet, at least. Watch your footing, master. A fall can so last time, we piece. went basically straight down the tower, so I think this time we'll kind of stay up high and check out. Because there is one more shortcut that I need to locate. See, I don't think I even went through that door. Uh, because directly opposite Ulra from the last shortcut we just found, there's another door that I should be able to open. The Pilgrim's Gauntlet. Okay, let's see what we have. We're going to have some voices here. Make haste. This place drives even the stoutest of minds to lose. Did you just say Pyrosaurians? Like fire Saurians? Mm, kind of makes sense with all this fire around here. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're kind of cool. All right, let's go for the tail. There we go. Let's get him. I wonder if you guys dropped lizard pelts. Infernal hides, no. I need lizard pelts for one of the rarefications. Flamica. Now, I'm guessing, are these Saurians also transparent? Oh. Oh, careful. We gotta get to the tail. Well, yeah, that's not very surprising. Did anyone think the fire was gonna do a lot to these fire saurians? I didn't. Okay. You're dead. Crimson stone. Can you guys pick some of this up? I'm already pretty heavy. Alright, here we go. No man eater. Cloud wine. Come on. We can do better than that. And stamina drench. Actually, that's probably pretty good. Yeah, that's good for stamina. Oh, torpored. Awesome. I will get right behind him then. And take that tail off. Nice work on the torpor. Gotta love this team. Okay, let's see what else we have. More rift crystals. There's a mining spot if you guys want to grab that. Although I had all the moonstone that I needed. Jula Vicissitude. It's a fun word to say, Vicissitude. You don't get to say that nearly often enough. Or, you know, ever for most people. Okay, so very similar Crimson Robe. Don't care about that. Very similar layout to the one of the early sections. What? What is down there? I don't even know what's down there. Ooh, gear level two. Beautiful. What? Oh, 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 they're casting. Grab it, grab it. Yes, beautiful. I don't know what's down there. I have no idea what was just talking to me. It'll be interesting to go down there and see. Ooh, more gear level two. I mean, nothing looks particularly dangerous down there, which means it's probably very, very deadly. Oh, Macabre Sculpture. Hey, didn't miss that one, guys. Huh? I think that makes three. Oh, got it. What else we got? Oh, whoa, what's happening down there? I don't know, but here's an ornate. Really excited for mm, Bombing Perfume. Good for a group heals, but not much else. Um... Are these like a risen or? Uh, guys, what do we do? All right, let me take down a couple of the close ones and then we'll hop down. Well, all right, oh, we're just gonna hop down now. Oh, that was silly. I didn't. Oh, I missed. Watch it. Oh, ow. Nope. Oh, good, Silverius. Thank you, buddy. All right, here they come. Take you out at range. Got ya. You, get back here. Yeah, I didn't think you would like a snake bite. You look like you might be uh, allergic. Pretty stone, really, really don't care about pretty stones. All right. They're going to hopefully keep their attention. We'll run around and form a dicament. Mm, okay, let's heal a little bit. You guys keep uh, keep handling them while I loot. No. All right, let's grab this guy then. 
Looks like he was uh, about ready to fire some magic arrows, it seemed. I don't like the look of this guy, though. Deal with you. Snake bite. Oh, rip him in half. All right, good stuff. And you should be done. Is that it? Is that everyone? Looks like that was everyone. Okay, let's check these stairs. I think this might just lead up top where we kind of took the divergent path. Let me see. All right, yeah. I see all the spiders. I'm not going to worry myself with them. And yes, okay. Perfect. So let's go down here. Might still be some loot that we missed. Most likely there is. We only got about half the room. And, oh, you look like you had a bad day. And where did we leave off looting? Leave it to me. Oh, we went around this section. Sullied Rift Fragment. I don't know what the, oh, that actually looked like it was an upgrade material, not, ooh, yes, ornate. Not actually Rift Crystals. Monks, Periaps, really? Come on. Do we need this? Do we need any of this? No. One more chest. And we have a bi crystal. Yeah, I think those rift fragments are actually upgrade materials, which is intriguing. Okay. And man eater. Yep. Oh shoot. I hate being right. Guys, quickly, quickly. Uh, you guys need to attack like immediately. And now I'm out of here. <laughs> you guys can deal with it now. I don't know what that attack is, but it seems to be an instant death, for the pawns at least. Alright, oh, what is that? This object is cursed. I know, and I can't see what it is, because you guys are... Ugh. Get these rocks and stuff out of the way. I don't want to pick... Oh, fine. Novelty level one. Eh, not that great. Okay, got another memory here. And watch the fire... Maybe this will lead to that next shortcut. What do we got? A weapon, awesome. Very excited about the weapon. I think that's our first weapon. We did get the level three, but that was actually from someone else. Oh, and that's it. Looks like this is a dead end. Okay, well that's not bad, not a bad haul. All things considered, wasn't too terribly difficult. So let's head back to the tower area, and then we'll go on from there. Cool, good. Making sure that we're exploring as much as we can without going uh, too crazy. I don't want to spend too much time just on exploration. Do want to actually make some progression here. All right, good stuff though. Oh, don't roll through the fire. I'm actually pretty, pretty heavy right now because I just couldn't decide everything that I needed for curative, so I kind of took a little bit of everything, and it really, really is hurting my stamina regen, but what are you gonna do? I wanna make sure I'm prepared. Here we go, Fortress of Remembrance. So, we went through, and then we went all the way down, so we're not gonna, we shouldn't have too many enemies, or actually, we probably don't have any enemies, to be honest. And I looted most of the area. If I see any sculptures on the way down, obviously I'll pick those up. Otherwise, I think we're just heading down, and then we have two doors to choose from, and I don't know which one I should go in. Let's see, was this a quick way down? Well, a little bit. Didn't really save that much time going this way, but... It's all right, we'll take shortcuts when we can. This is where we fought the Elder Ogre. And then we have, okay, so we have a door straight ahead. And then we had another one back there. Which one do we want to go in? This one? Let's go, let's go this way. I think there was a door straight behind us, right? Was there not? Am I remembering wrong? Or maybe it's right up there, so it's kind of like halfway. Can I jump up here? Don't know. If, oh, I can't get back up that, though. Okay. So maybe I should go halfway up a little bit. 
halfway up a little bit. I don't even know what that means. Halfway up and see if there's a door there before we go in this one. I have a feeling all the way at the bottom, this is the actual progression. And if I'm looking to explore, I think that we should go up a little bit. So it should be kind of somewhere to my right, I think. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Let's get some stamina back. That's the one at the bottom. And then there should be one somewhere. Okay, maybe the next level up through this window. No, one more level up. One more level up, and then here we go, right through here. Okay. Yes, so now let's check out this, because this is not the top. Right? No, that's where we came from. So let's check out this door, see what's through here. The Black Abbey, okay. Oh, rather large area coming up. It is not defeat to flee from battle, Master. No, we're not, there's no battle here. We're not fleeing. Oh. We might flee. What the heck is down there? Was that an ogre and some other things? Is that an ogre? What is that? That doesn't actually look like an ogre. Hmm. Okay, what do we have? Frozen holy water. Oh, boy. Well, glad they're giving us the opportunity to just walk around here. Watch your footing, Master. A fall can kill Reddy as any I don't know beast. what that is over there. Lordly tonic. But you know what? Let's get prepared. Let's grab one of these guys and go in. A white. Oh, it's a white? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's a gore cyclops. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, the white is, uh, the white is dead. Uh, what's going on with, the whoa, he's throwing rocks, okay. So that's a Gore Cyclops, but he doesn't have a weapon, and he doesn't have any armor. That's really good. You know what I have? I actually have Liquid Vims this time. Oh, no, no, no. So let's actually get, maybe just on his back, we'll use a Liquid Vim. And do I have... Conqueror's periaps? No. Oh, I'm a goof. I didn't bring any Conqueror's periaps. I need to remember to do that. But let's do some of these to make this a little faster. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Really, really good damage. And Silvarius is definitely going to benefit from those Tadulus' miracles as well. All right, everyone else, come on. Keep going. He's already well below half. Okay, he's on his last bubble. Oh, this is easy. Oh, this is great. See, a little preparation goes a long way. And you're done. And I leveled up. All right, cool. Wonderful. Okay, yes, yeah, so you guys get right into the gathering. That's what's most important. Macabre Eye. Rugged Femur, Cyclops Fang. I don't really... Ooh, Black Crystal. I don't know what that's for. I don't really have the carry weight guys for this stuff, so it's really on you. Nightfall Crescent, some mining spots. We're just going to look around and see if there's any good loot spots. Specifically treasures. Drop of Deliverance. No, I really just want gear. I want, I want cursed items. Martyr's Talisman and Holy Crystal. I mean, the 5,000 crystals is great, but it's it's a drop in the bucket compared to what I have, so I just really don't need it necessarily. Oh, hey. I'm liking the look of this. Gear level 2 and Royal Mantle. Okay. Uh, I don't think I want to drop down there, right? Or do I? <laughs> I'm tempted to throw a pawn and see what happens, but no, that's that's death. That is absolutely death. Okay, so that's another area cleared. Well, I guess we just have the one one direction to go in, right? I mean, if I'm missing something, I'm missing something, but everything around here just... <sighs> well, goodbye, Kia. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what her thought process was. I have no idea what she was just thinking. 
Oh boy. All right, let's go up to that one or down to that one last door. Oh, poor Kia. I don't know what she was thinking with that. That just had bad choice written all over it. I could go up, go to the rift stone, but I'm going to hope that there's going to be another rift stone through that other door. That's the hope and plan. At any rate, we're going to have to go back pretty soon anyway, because we have a lot of gear to purify, and also we have a lot of stuff just to drop off, because we are just running way too heavy. But let's see what's through here. And if it seems like it's going to... Oh, you're locked with a void key, though. And I haven't found another void key. May have it needs a key. Oh, gee, thanks. That was quite astute of you. Hmm. Well, where would I find another key? I feel like I haven't missed any large areas. All right, well, tell you what. Since we're pretty close, let's go ahead and use a lift stone. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's take care of some items, and then we will consider it from there. All right, Ulra. We have a few goodies that we want to check out, if you wouldn't mind. All right, so we have two level one novelties. We have three level three gears. I'm sorry, level two gears and one weapon. Jewel of Anti-Light, Rancid Bait Mead. Place it within an area to increase the chance of carrying feeding monsters. Okay, so you can actually increase the chances of like a Garm appearing. That's pretty, pretty handy. Warrior's Ring. Ooh, this is good for Silvarius. This item enhances the following weapon skills. Savage Lunge and Indomitable Lunge. I think Silverius is using Indomitable Lunge, so that'll be good for him. Preceptor, a ring that augments basic attributes. Maximum health by 290 is pretty good. Preceptor, that's a garbage one. And then Chilling Razors. Daggers of such deadly cold that even the blood they draw is frozen. So Ice Enchanted Daggers. Okay, might check those the out and see what kind of pray. damage Take they do. It. But we also, all right, let me do some inventory management and I'll be right back. If there is aught, the true prayer. <clears throat> all right, the chilling daggers did not look anything special, but I did pull out that one ring for Silvarius. Really excited for him to be using that. So we will switch out, oh, there we go. That should be pretty great for him, I think. Oh. Very cool. And you know what? That is actually, I think, going to wrap up this episode. So the next time we start, we will be on the lookout for the second Void Key, as well as, you know, some other macabre sculptures that apparently there's even some right Since around Ulra. Like I don't know Alistair. where, but Aiden apparently there are some around here. So we'll do some digging around. I don't know. We'll, we'll find what we can. That you have my word. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying Dragon's Dogma. And I will see you next time with Kia.